In addition to our four nutrient lines, Canna offers additives to help you get even better results. Canna Boost, for example, speeds up the metabolism of your plant. It contains plant extracts, which help the plant to produce better flowers and fruits. Canna Boost is suitable for use with any growing medium. In this video, we will explain the different functions of Canna Boost. It stimulates the production of chlorophyll to achieve a higher rate of photosynthesis and Canna Boost also improves the flavour of the fruit. The energy that is captured through photosynthesis is transported throughout the plants, usually as complex sugars or carbohydrates. From the leaves, most of the sugars move upwards and are used for growth and later for the production of flowers or fruits. Some sugars are also transported downwards towards the root system. The root system consists of roots and root hairs. Around these root hairs there are many tiny organisms. Some of these microorganisms, such as tiny fungi, known as mycorrhizal fungi, absorb energy and metabolites from the root, but also take in nutrients and moisture from the substrate and pass these onto the plants. When the fungal microorganism dies, it decays and releases its nutrient load into the soil as nutrients. Use Canna Boost from the second vegetative phase on. Canna Boost contains highly specialized carbohydrate chains, such as oligosaccharides as well as amino acids. The ingredients in the Canna Boost are absorbed in the root system and the fungi in the root zone. Now the fungus needs to consume less of the sugar produced by the plant itself. The nutrients are absorbed by the plant, while the oligosaccharides trigger a response in the root system. All these nutrients are then transported up to the plant's leaves, flowers and fruits. At the cellular level, we can see that chlorophyll is made up of amino acids. The chlorophyll enables the plant to synthesize the various carbohydrates that it needs to grow and function through the process of photosynthesis. The second function of Canna Boost is that it helps the plant to produce more chlorophyll, which increases the rate of photosynthesis. This makes the leaves look greener and ensures that the flowers get more energy and building blocks in carbohydrates. It's also possible to apply Canna Boost directly to the leaves to speed up absorption. Using Canna Boost in a foliar spray, you can start doing this right from the start of the vegetative phase. Whether it is applied to the roots or using a foliar spray, Canna Boost helps the flowers to grow bigger. As the flower changes into a fruit, the components in Canna Boost and the sugars created by the extra photosynthesis will make the new fruit even larger and improve its flavor. The fruit also absorbs nutrient ions from the Canna Nutrients and PK1314 feed. This means that they grow faster and more vigorously. But when we also feed the plant with Canna Boost, the proportion of the sugars in fruit rises, making the end product taste sweeter. Using Canna Boost correctly will give you the optimum results every time, and we also have other additives that you can use alongside Canna Boost to make sure you get more from your plant. So don't forget to use Canna Rhizotonic Canazim and Canna PK1314 during the flowering phase. This will give you even better yields.